Uh, as far as for young people today in the, in, the, in the Hollywood business or the film industry, you have to determine whether you want to act in front of the camera or work behind the camera, okay? Uh, if you want to be, work in front of the camera, whether you're singing or dancing, or I highly recommend that you go get a MFA degree, Master of Fine Art degree, and, 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 and get your uh, advanced degree. Because most of your A-list agency only hire from the best agency. So, uh, of the, uh, the A-list agency, Endeavor, ICM, um, William Morris, there are very few Asian Americans. Very few Asian, except maybe uh, 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 Bai Ling might be in there, you know. But, but you have to, uh, you have to, uh, you have to be outstanding, see. So an MFA degree from a from, from good school will help your career, but uh, um, you have to be Americanized, you have to know the American culture because this is America and you have to understand their behavior, a pattern. For example, I just realized that Charlie, uh, Charlie's Angel just, uh, they released it again this time. Lucy Liu is no longer a party, but a black girl is in it, see? And uh, why? Because, well, there are 35 million blacks in this country. There are only about 14 million Asian American of 15 different tribes. So if you're a marketing person, which would you target, see? So, so she's out. Uh, <clears throat> now, Hollywood people get mixed up. People don't understand that, that they think uh, all the Asian actors are the same, but those like Chow Yun Fat, they come from China. They're already a star. And they get us mixed up with them as uh, we're the same star, see. So if, if I were telling young people, I would say go get an MFA degree and, and study your acting. And then if you really want to pursue that. Now you can get behind the camera and you can go to good... Uh, film school like USC, UCLA, NYU, become a director. Uh, those are fine professionals too, see. Justin Lin, Fast and Furious, he's probably number one now. He sees Fast and Furious 6, you know. His first first film only cost 200,000 million. They maxed it out of their credit card. And now today he's probably making many millions, see. But, so he's one of the few cases uh, that, that, that consider bankable. Uh, but the, still, the problem I see with Asian American, even those with MFA, you find out, I find many um, um, young actors who have MFA, their undergraduate degree is in zoology, biotech, and everything else. If they did something what their parent want them to do. Now, if you look at the Filipino formula, they might have an MFA degree, but they have a long history of dancing since the age of five and six. And, and I find in audition, the Filipino tend to outperform uh, fellow Asian Americans, see, because they've been doing it for a long period of time. So if I had children, I would get them started early to take dance lessons, go to shows and stuff like that. You know. So you get, get a taste of it, see. And uh, now China's a little different thing now. China wants to become the number one uh, movie industry in the world. And China do best in their story, historical pieces. And nobody can do, produce film like China do, talk about uh, the Three Kingdoms and all those things like that. So, uh, if you come from that background, that's to your advantage to, to, to know those stories and know those mandarins and then you can perform. Unfortunately, Chinese Americans who've been here too long, who don't speak Chinese and can't get it, kind of stuck. So they don't really have anywhere to go unless you go back and try to learn Mandarin. See. But however, though, there are, there are possibilities for Chinese American role in China because uh, <clears throat> China want to do a lot of story about Chinese Americana. Who best plays the, 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 those roles than Chinese American themselves? Who can who who, who understand Chinese Americana than uh, guys like me? So I'm looking for for that opportunity. And if you look at all the pictures that Russell Wong has 
film in China, three so far, and he's shooting an episodic right now. He always played the expatriate Chinese American who moved to China. See, he always played those roles. See? And uh, so there, there is opportunity that way. So uh, I would, I would research the market and find out. I would spend a lot of time watching CCTV just get a flavor of what China's film industry is showing. You see, Andy Law, he shoots a lot of contemporary um, uh, modern-day China. He, he would shoot film that makes Shanghai look like New York City, you know, the party scenes and then like that. Or Wayne Wong's uh, Snowflower and, and The Secret Fan, you know. Uh, you talk about the Lao Tong, which is go back 200 years, and then uh, the, 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 that kind of role, that's a possibility. So, no. So as Chinese Americans, I would say learn Mandarin, get your MFA, and then get a lot of acting experience. Go out, do a lot of stage, perform, dance. You know, it's like acting is like piano lesson. The more you practice, the more it flows. Dancing is in the memories in your life. Acting, the memory is when you 